Hi guys, this is Pestilian. Welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering all 37 known cache locations for Shoreline. I'm not going to go over the loot side of things because we've covered that in the previous video, but I will go over a potential loot run for you guys that want to maybe potentially farm these. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. Okay, so for the 37 locations, there is a Shoreline 3D map made by Maxon, uh, which has... 35 of the locations being put in on there by King Bear Jew. I'll put a link down below if you want to get to the actual 35 map with all the numbers on it. Plus, there's the extra two, number 36 and 37, that I've chucked on there that from the help of the community. I'm going to go through these by the numbers on that map to make it easier for you guys. So, for number one, uh, we are located on the western side of the map in the center of the village. And it's literally just at the end of that road by the wall. Uh, it's located, yeah, just next to that bush. Now, from number one, you follow up the boundary wall pretty much till you get up to the swamp. It's the fence of the last house uh, on the swamp side and uh, the fence along the swamp edge. It's just located up against the fence. Number three is really straightforward. From the uh, center of the actual township, there's the T intersection. You'll see these concrete pillars and inside one of the concrete pillars is the cache. Number four is extremely easy. It's directly across the road uh, in the dumpster pile, just from number three. So you just go across there. Next to the dumpster is the cache, just located. Yeah, simple. So number five is a little bit more tricky. From the dumpster pile, you want to head up uh, towards the cottages. You can jump over this wall right here. Uh, it's located in this yard. It took me a little tiny bit to find it, but it is just pretty much located um, between the bush and the fence. So once you get in there, uh, you'll find it pretty quickly. Now, number six, uh, as you can see, the greenhouse on the most western side of the swamp. Uh, towards the swamp, there is the fence, the little wood stack, and the cache is just located right there. Now, from the center of the village, you can see the greenhouse over there. Uh, that You can see the church coming down this way. So, it's you're liter literally right in the center. Um, and then there's that like the far corner house over there. You come around here, and it's just located just in the corner. Number eight is pretty straightforward. It's the house closest to the church and also the one where there's a sacrifice uh, body thing. So if the closest house closest to them, just in the little shed out towards the back, you'll find the case right there. Now, number nine is located in the actual swamp itself, past the church, uh, towards the resort. Um, you have the church on, on, on that side, as you just saw, and yeah, the case is located in the swamp by the, the down tree. Now from the swamp, if you head up towards the cottages, there is the hay bale, I don't know, field. And it's the first one I ran up to. Uh, it's just, yeah, located by the hay bale. Pretty much swamp side of the, uh, yeah, the field. Now 11 is up on top of a hill. Uh, it's located a little bit by the tree. There's a tent up there and a little fireplace. When you get up there, it's the swamp side of the hill or the tent, little fireplace area. Uh, it's just located next to the tree. Now, from the back of Bus Depot, if you're coming up or coming down from the resort, um, there is a cage located in the little or behind the fence. Uh, it's just right next to the tree. It's really straightforward and easy to find this one and easy to get to. Now, near Rock Bunker, there is like a big rock that just stands out. You can get on top of that rock right in front of me. Um, it's kind of right up against the wall. There's, it took me a little bit to find this one, but once you find it, it's pretty straightforward to find from there. There's no simple way of explaining 14. It's really just located in the far corner of the map. Uh, there's a spawn near here. You actually spawn pretty much right on top of it. And um, yeah, there's a there's a cage there if you want to grab it before you head into the resort. So for number 15, against the uh, road to customs wall side, you'll see the train tracks and the wall intersection. It's not on the road to customs side, side of the train tracks, the other side, just in between all the bushes. So for 16, reference the radio tower uh, just to the front there. The resort's behind me, and there's that power pole right there. On the other side of this, what's called the half pipe, just uh, next by the tree, that, or pretty much in between the two trees, is located the cache. So for number 17, the radio tower, it's just located on the back side of the fence. Uh, I guess it's on the other side of that red red box-looking thing, shed thing. Uh, it's just the cache right there. Now, 18 took me a little bit to find. It was a little bit annoying one. So you come straight down the road. It's about halfway down from the... Road Customs Extract and that tower, uh, and you come straight across, you'll see this like the rock dip down the bottom, and it's located in the bush next to the uh, the dip. Okay, from the UAV, and you can see the house just over there. Um, there's that big rock there, and then you just come down to this bush here. It's it's a little bit annoying to find this one. This one took me a little while to find. 
But yeah, it's located inside that bush. Now, 20 is a fair bit easy to find. It is located pretty much by the little house right next to the UAV and the rocks. So head over to that little house area and then uh, you can find it right there. Now, this one was pretty hell for me to find. So you, the UAV and the house over there, you come up to this hill and you can see a cross located in the middle of like a field area near that house. And then you go past or to the left-hand side of the cross, there's a tree and on the other side of the tree is the cage. Okay, from CCP Extract, uh, you head towards past all the minefield into the far corner of the map, and uh, you'll see like the train bridge and that. Underneath the train bridge, or near the train bridge, you'll see the log, and then the cache located underneath the log. Now, up from that log, up on the train tracks, uh, you can see the CCP Extract to the right-hand side. Uh, along, the ex uh, sorry, along the train tracks, you actually will find the cache uh, located just about here. Okay, so down by Crane along that CCP road towards uh, the pier, uh, you can see the big crane. Then from there, you go out of that gateway up to this big rock, and the cage is located right up against the big rock in the little corner here. 25 is fairly straightforward. Go down to the crane through the gate. Once you're through the gate, go around the left-hand side of the shack and then locate it in amongst all the uh, tires and, and, and the crap around here. You'll find the cage. 26 is really easy to find. Go down from the weather station towards the power station. And uh, it's just, there's a bridge with a tank on it. That's like half off the uh, bridge. And underneath that bridge is the case. Super easy to find, easy to get to. 27, head down to the pier. Um, it's right down at the very end. I think, I don't know what you call this. I always call it Lighthouse, but there's a map coming called Lighthouse. So I don't know. Anyway, right down at the very end of the pier, you'll see the concrete pillars along the uh, edge bit right there. And the case I'm pretty much standing on right now. 28 is pretty straightforward. Uh, down by the beach where you'll see the, like, the, the stretches or the, I don't know what you call them. I don't go to the beach that often. They go lay down on those things. But anyway, laying down on those things, uh, they'll see the blue little, I guess, change rooms, bathrooms. And it's located just inside the first one right here. Now, 29, you'll find this one along the coastline. It's located by a rock or the rock you can see in front of me. Uh, halfway between the Scav Island bridge or boat thing and the gas station. 30 is really straightforward. Head over the boat towards Scav Island or onto Scav Island and the shack towards the back side of it. Um, there's a big wood pile and in between the wood pile and the shack is where you'll find the cage. You can see it right there. As you head towards the tunnel extract, there's the, uh, the fallen house uh, for number 31. It's just next to those rocks by the fallen house uh, in kind of like that little open bushy area. Okay, 32 is really straightforward from the little like lake area that's kind of got like a horseshoe shape to it uh, on the from the cottages. It's located in the middle of the horseshoe. Number th For number 33, you come inside the little construction side on the other side of the cottages and uh, you just hu hug the left wall from the fence and you'll see it on the other side of the bush. 34 is located on the road custom side of the resort. On the outside of the fence, you'll see the playground, the resort there, and it's just hidden on the other side of the bush. Rock, rock Passage Extract has one behind it. So you actually go on the bunker side of the, the river, and then once you go around the back, it's super easy to find this one. And if you're going to extract over there, you could do a cheeky cheeky loop from the cage while you're there. Now, this is one of the two that wasn't on, located on the original map, um, one of the extra ones. Inside this like wood stack area, you can find the cage. It's just like hidden just behind the church in the swamp. Now, 37, I actually thought I was getting trolled, but reference that crane over there. You run down, you'll see the house and this little shed thing. Line up pretty much these trees right here. And then you want to run straight in this direction. It, I can't explain it any other way, um, but it's in that bush right there. It, it took me ages to find this. I actually thought I was getting trolled in, uh, in order to find it. So what I want to do now is I'm going to show you a map of what I would suggest is possible loot runs that you could do with this if you wanted to run a loot run for the caches. So this would be the loot run that I would probably suggest. I, it focuses mainly on the village side. If you did spawn on the road to custom side, I'd probably just focus on the ones down the southeast and then head up and then see if Rock Passage is open and extract, extract through Rock Passage. Now currently, Rock Passage doesn't actually show smoke or any flares or anything when it's open. So you actually need to physically check it. So if you spawn on the road to custom side, maybe check some of the ones down on the uh, southeast corner, then head north. Um, and you could even just extract then anyway, even if you had like half decent loot. 
Otherwise, there's so many located in the village. There's also other loot you can check out in the village as well. Uh, I'd also go through the cottages while I'm there. A uh, cottage safe key and a cottage key at the moment is pretty cheap. That's two more safes you can get. Safes are being boosted at the moment, so now you can actually get extra items in there and stuff like that. It's, it's, I honestly think this is a pretty solid run just to make some money when you don't want to have to worry about any threat of enemies. You also can go to the um, understanding that, say, say you did spawn on road to custom side, head up north, go west to the swamp, and then by the time you get through the swamp, um, you might be like, yeah, sweet, my gear's already... Sorry, I've already filled up for loot anyway. Maybe it's just time to extract. Then skip going to cottages and villages. Go straight along the, the exit to the tunnel. And you can do this in Vice or Inversa. So it doesn't really... like You can just massage this when your loot gets full. Don't even worry about loot anymore. Start heading to the extract. Uh, there is so many here that you can you can make your own routes up too. So get creative. And also, uh, awesome work to whoever uh, put all the first 35 together. Um, with, with help from our community, we are, were able to refine them all, which was pretty sweet. On top of that, if you guys do know of any extra caches that have been missed, feel free to take a screenshot of it and then either put it up on like IMG BB or whatever it's called and put a link into the comments or send it to me on my Discord. I'm happy to update the actual image on this uh, video as more get added to it. So it can be like a 38, 39, 40 if there are more. So guys, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week, so go down the link below, give me a follow over there. If you've got any Tarkov questions, feel free to hit me on my live stream or down in the comments below. I am very close to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, and it's been a bit of a goal of mine to get to there by the end of the year, and we're absolutely killing it. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that. It doesn't cost you a cent. It'd be really sweet if you did. Um, I am trying to get these guides out, but I am putting a lot of time into the raid series at the moment, which is out there to help new players and people will just learn more about the game and hopefully enjoy it more so if you haven't checked out the race series please do it's i think it's really enjoyable to watch i've actually been re-watching my episodes taking notes of things that i'd like to add to them for our future episodes and yeah so guys lastly i'll see you next time we are we are the youth of the nation we are we are the youth of the nation